Now we want to do is show you how to drain your engine oil. Uh, the Kawasaki 13 horsepower engine also has a thread on oil filter. We're going to replace that as well. The engine drain plug is located at the back of the engine. There is a cutaway in this guard so that you can reach the plug. You're going to simply put on a uh, 19 millimeter socket to uh, loosen the drain plug and we're going to drain the engine oil from the back. Okay, when you remove the oil filter, you're going to want to inspect the O-ring um, on the plug itself. This prevents the oil plug from leaking. Uh, you can see in the picture, you just want to make sure it's a good repair all the way around. It isn't something you have to change every time you change your oil. You just want to make sure that that O-ring is intact. That's what seals the plug to the engine. Now we're going to let that drain for a second. When it's done draining, we're going to replace the plug and tighten it. While we're underneath the vehicle, it's another inspection point. This is where the engine fan is located to cool the engine. You want to make sure there's not grass and debris built up on this screened area here. Sometimes sticks or grass can get and cover this up. It's going to cause the engine to run too hot. On the front part of the motor, I'm going to return this, this oil plug, is your engine oil filter. It has a thread on filter. You're just going to move your drain pan. You're going to simply unthread your filter and replace it with a new filter. Don't ever reuse the filter. The filter simply unthreads. Keep your drain pan underneath. A little bit of oil will leak out, but, but not too much. And you just want to clean the area that the filter came out of with a rag. And then I will show you uh, what we're going to do for the, the filter before we put the new filter on. Before installing a new filter, this gasket is going to be dry when you take it out of the box. So we're going to take a thin film of oil and we're just going to simply rub the film of oil on that gasket prior to installing the filter. Then we're going to go to our engine. We've already cleaned the surface that the filter seats against. We've already added oil to our gasket. We're going to simply install the new filter and thread it on and tighten it up. What you're going to do is you are not going to use any sort of a wrench to tighten this filter. You're going to run the filter in until it stops turning, which is right there, and you're going to turn it an additional quarter of a turn and that is a proper tension for your filter. You don't want to use a wrench to tighten a new filter because you'll never be able to get it off again. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the dipstick from the top of the motor. We're just going to set that in a safe place. Let me show you something on a dipstick that's very important before we continue. There is a little lip on the front of this dipstick. I can show you to the side here. This, this tongue or this lip has to face the front of the engine when you reinstall it in the engine. If you turn this the other way, the dipstick will break off in the engine and damage the engine. That lip has to face the front of the vehicle, the front of the engine when you reinstall that. I'll show you again when we go to put that back in. All easy go golf cars hold one and a half quarts. The oil weight is 10W30. You can use a funnel to keep it nice and neat. Keep a rag with you so you can keep from pouring oil all over the top of the engine. Now we're going to check the level, make sure it's at the proper height. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. It's very simple. If it's facing the correct way, you simply push it down into the motor until it seats all the way in. On the bottom, as you see there, we're going to pull it back out. And you can see right on the mesh, there's our full line right there. One and a half quarts fills it. 